Thank you, Madam President. Your neo-imperialistic bid for expansion into the former Yugoslavia has led you to lose sight of the bigger picture. This motion calls for greater alignment of Serbia to the foreign policy of the EU, specifically highlighting the current disastrous situation with Russia. Yet you all seem to forget the close cultural ties that Serbia shares with Russia through their orthodoxy history and common values. Serbia is becoming another pawn in the wider struggle with Russia. If you had any sense of diplomacy or actual respect for the Serbian people, then you would see the potential, not for more competition or potential conflict, but reconciliation and cooperation. Instead of making Serbia another colony of the Commission, there is the real potential to let her act as an important mediator between the West and Russia at this crucially sensitive time for, for security in Eastern Europe. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carver. Will you accept a blue card, please, from Mr. Parvel? Yes, you have the floor. Aș dori să vă întreb, având în vedere că și România este o țară ortodoxă, ar trebui să avem și noi legături să ieșim din... Well, Romania is an orthodox country and this could be, this should also be borne in mind. Should we have the same attitude towards Russia and accept everything from Russia? Thank you, colleague. What I'm saying is we all appreciate the sensitivity of the situation with regards to Russia and European Union relations at the moment. This is a really, really good opportunity to use Serbia as a broker. And I really do fear that by bringing Serbia into the European Union eventually, you're actually playing into Mr. Putin's hands and giving him a chance to be even more aggressive. Thank you.